Alright guys, I am back. And first I would like to say thank you to Gomez and Morticia for sending me cute presents. It works when it wants to. <laughs> there we go. It's like a cute little lantern. And now that I have powder all over the glasses. You sent me these wonderful glasses, which I love, so I'll probably wear them. And I better not forget to move my hair before we begin. I actually forgot to bring anything for my hair. So hopefully this one tiny little eyeball will hold it all up. Okay. And to figure out how to get my gloves back on. <sighs> okay. I can't wait till I get the other half of this. It's I, I meant to order two pieces, but I haven't saved up enough money yet to get the other half. And then I will have a lot more workspace because sometimes I edit my videos and what you don't see is all of this go crashing to the floor and me cussing. So what we are making today is called Horrorscope, but a couple things before anybody buys any. They are not going to give you your astrology or your horoscope. They're not going to answer any questions. In fact, they're probably just going to insult you. So, first, let me show you this mold. This is the Rebel mold. It cost me 49 cents. It's like a baby food container. It's my favorite one. It works the best. It puts on the most show. I don't know what to say other than I am in love with this thing. That's why you see it so often. I'm trying to find more when I go out to the thrift stores and stuff. Sad. Sad that that's like the 50 cent items are the best, aren't they? So yeah, there will be a tag that comes floating out at you. Just like all the other bombs that answer questions and stuff, but again, this one will not answer any questions for you. And if you're depressed or suicidal, sociopath, schizophrenic, probably you should not even buy this. And it's definitely not for kids. I made this one smell like lavender, just so you know. 
these glasses keep trying to fall off. I guess I'll just take them off for now. Yes, here's the scissors. Yep. See, these bones will say mean things to you. I mean, not always. Sometimes they'll just tell you a stupid, inappropriate joke. <laughs> Like, who knows what they're going to say. I don't know. I, I wrote lots of things down. Just so there would be a variety. I will test one later so you guys can see what they'll look like. I just like these because of how deep it is to me and, and like even when I asked somebody on Etsy to make me molds I told them the depth of them is more important to me than, than the rest because I can get lots of embeds inside of these and make them put on a show whether they want to or not. You know, like those coffins I was using, they were oh, so thin that every time I put embeds in them, they were just cracking apart. That's what was happening. And I mean, they probably would have tried it without embeds, but they're still kind of a pain to get out of that mold. So I realized I don't have one yet. I used to. Actually, I mean, I guess I have... I guess I have little lavender ones. And I, I know Funk said that she is excited about the labyrinth bombs that are coming. I am too. It can be a while though. The only place I, I found to order what I liked or what I was looking for is from the UK. So I don't know how long that'll take to get here. And if you guys end up ordering a ton of them, then I guess I'll need more. <laughs> like I said, it's one of those things though that you're probably going to want to collect a few of them, or if not all, I don't know how obsessed you are. I would want to collect them all just because I love Labyrinth. But I only ordered enough to give to you guys. I won't even have any for myself. I don't know. Maybe I'll sneak one. But then how do you choose? How do you choose which one you want? check my color bombs earlier to see whether I could get them into smaller packages and make it easier because I said I wasn't sure if my my coloring skills were strong enough to have like hex sized bombs at just three measly ounces and they were fine. I guess I just need to learn to trust myself. is just easier to manage also. As you guys have noticed, if, if you can even see me, I don't know. I haven't pushed on any of this. The only pushing I do is at the very end 
to get like all these little grooves to stay down. That way when I pop it out, it just doesn't go back to dust. That is what makes things float. And that is why my little tiny coffins never did. Because with the embeds and stuff inside of them and them being only this deep, I had to cram them down inside the mold. They're never going to float. But I've learned it doesn't matter after watching that video. Apparently some people can enjoy them for quite a long time <laughs> and not need all of that. I'll tell you what, the ones you saw on my table the other day were the last three sets I had, and I never intended to make any more, but after watching Sierra playing with it, I was like, how could you not make more for her? <laughs> Why won't this come out? Now that I gave the speech about don't, don't pack things. No, sometimes they just get like air locked in there. I really hate beating on them on the um on the same thing all the rest of them are sitting on. Right, yeah, that one's screwed. But I'm still gonna try to push it back together so that I can just use it as my test mold. It won't be quite the same shape as yours will be when they go off, but you'll, you know, you'll get the idea. Oh, whether you like it or you don't. Hmm, that's good enough. Anyway, yeah, I just take them and stick them over here by this fan as soon as I make them to help start them drying. Which is another, that, like, that is the only concern I have about doing this, is how long am I going to be able to do it? Like, I know you guys don't like it when shops shut down and stuff. But the humidity where I live during the summer gets to be so unbelievably bad for weeks that I wouldn't possibly be able to make any bombs unless I buy dehumidifiers and it actually works. I don't know, I've never tried. So that's the plan. But yeah, that's my only fear is that I hope I can manage to keep it going. But until you get past your first year, you don't know how many orders you're going to have. You don't know if you're even going to succeed. So I don't want to make a bunch of bombs now while I can to stock up. Yeah, I like this mold because the weight of it just pulls it down for me. And generally, I don't gotta do anything. But sometimes I knock off the corners. <laughs> so I hope you guys don't want perfection. It's, it's so tall sometimes I lift it unevenly and you yep, knock off the corner. But it's so tall, it's not like you're not still getting plenty of product. And then what I normally do with all the extra, because as you can see, that is not enough left to make another one or anything, really. 
I just dump the two colors together, mix them together. <laughs> but I just make smaller molds for the samples that I send to you guys so that you can smell all the scents I use. Also, those glasses in that little lantern are from me um, winning a spooky photo contest on Gomez and Morticia's channel, which I will link below so you guys can subscribe to them if you want to. They do reviews on gothic horror type products. And they issued a challenge to see who gets in a picture to freak them out. And of course, I'm always the weirdest, so... I'm not going to show my picture, mostly because I can not find it again. But I will tell you, basically, I did, like, horror goth modeling, and ten years ago or more, uh, I took a picture of myself with a bloody knife next to a bathtub filled with my uh, very much nine month pregnant sister-in-law who was naked and filmed a, a very gruesome photo shoot and I won. <laughs> no. Don't worry though, it was all fake. The baby's like 10 years old now. I didn't, didn't really hurt them. 